As you can see and hear by the music in the background, we are no longer in the US of A. Today, we are in Cabo San Lucas for my birthday trip. This is episode three of my birthday vlog series. So we just landed in Cabo two hours ago and now we made it to our Airbnb. So I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of a tour. So come on in. So we actually chose to stay in an Airbnb versus a resort. And I just wanna tell you guys that this Airbnb is massive. Even though it's just me and Michael, this is a three bedroom, three bath condo. So let's go ahead and check it out. Right here is the kitchen. We got our microwave, we got our stove. The one thing I love about this Airbnb is that it's so modern, but it's, it still goes off and out of the country vibe. So I literally am in love with this kitchen. And then we're gonna come over here. This is our dining area for how many? Eight people? And then across from the dining room, we have the biggest mirror that I have ever seen in my life. When I was looking at this place, this mirror looked big, but not that big. I just thought it was a regular wall mirror. Like, y'all, this is so big. I'm in love with this. We're gonna have so much fun taking pictures here. And then over here, we have the living room, little sectional, which I love, super big and cozy. Over here in the living room, we have the most beautiful view ever. I love the fact that we have a balcony so that we can eat out here if we choose to, but the view is literally the best part. We get to look at the ocean. It's just really, really pretty out here. As you guys can see, this is like the neighborhood we're staying in. It's called Vista Vela. We do have a pool. I really love this little neighborhood and it has its own security and gates, which is really important. I'm gonna take you to the bedrooms. Like I said, this place has three bedrooms. This is me and Michael's bedroom. This is the master and it's just so pretty in here. I love the decor of this room, really nice and spacious. And we also have a view of the ocean in our room, which is nice. In our bedroom, we have a bathroom right here and I'm pretty sure this is one of the biggest bathrooms I've ever seen. It's like a walk-in closet slash bathroom. So over here we have the his and hers sinks, which are gonna come in handy for getting ready. Then we have our toilet right here, closed off, which is perfect, especially for stinky poops. Over here we have our walk-in shower. So now let's go to the restrooms in the house because this is only just one bedroom. I feel like this is literally the perfect place for us. We just wish we had friends to share it with because this place was actually only around um, $1,200 for a whole week stay, which is much cheaper than the resorts and you're getting so much more room. So over here we have our second bathroom. So this is kind of like a guest bathroom, but the shower isn't any much smaller. Oh, I didn't realize before, but it also steps into this room. The bathroom comes into the second room. So this room, you have your bed again, and then we have closet space over there, and then a TV. Over here you walk, and then you find yourself in the third bedroom. We have our third bathroom over here, which is kind of similar to the other one, but a little bit different. So this is a really good mirror for getting ready. If Girls, this would be perfect for an all girls trip. You have three bathrooms. And then you make your way this way, down the hallway, and we are back in the living room where we started. So that is our Airbnb tour. The host is super friendly. Her name is Anna. I'm gonna leave all the details down below to the place that we're staying at, the links. But that's it for our Airbnb tour in Cabo. This place is 
literally so nice guys the pictures don't even do it justice it's really beautiful really clean i'm so glad that we picked this place if you guys have been staring at my neck i actually burned myself with a curling wand um two days ago so unfortunately on this trip i'm scarred i also have braids and she did a really good job with my braids but i have the big forehead and i just feel like i'm back to looking how i did in grade school so we're gonna feel these braids out during this trip and try and do a bunch of styles with it but i feel like i'll like it better when i put on makeup but as for now i'm looking like a boiled egg right now we're just about to eat i'm saying we i'm on this trip with michael my boyfriend michael this vlog hasn't seen you yet i'm on What's this, up? Hey. this trip out I'm on this trip with Michael, my boyfriend. Yes, We're here we for out my here. birthday. We're out here in Cabo and it's going crazy. I, I can really see the ocean right there <laughs> with the rocks and then apparently that arch that Cabo is known for, like, I can see that right yeah, there. Yeah, it's see? across from our Airbnb. But right now we're just about to eat some ramen that we bought at the store and then mm -hmm. chill out and then find a place to eat dinner. And today's gonna be like our chill night so I can plan stuff for the trip. So it is currently the next day. It is 5.42 p.m., which is kind of late. Michael and I are just getting our day started kind of in Cabo. And the reason for that is we actually had a lot of work to do. I had editing to do and he had a lot of studying to do for his job because he just graduated. We just finished getting ready, but it's okay. That's why we wanted to stay out here for a week so that we would have more time and still be able to work. So it's 5.42 p.m. right now, kind of late. We wanted to get out at four, <laughs> but the plan is we're just gonna go to downtown Cabo, find a place to eat, we'll maybe do some tequila tasting and then try and talk to people to see what else we can do this week. I do have some names written down of places that I can contact for excursions, but I just wanna see what the people out in the town have to say and try and meet new people so it's another like chill day mm -hmm. before i show you guys what i'm wearing i'm about to put on my scent for the day this is daisy oh so fresh so this is gonna be my scent for the day it smells so good let me know during this vlog how you are feeling the braids because i do look better in the braids with makeup but i'm still trying to feel them out i'm very glad that fantastic. <laughs> very glad that i don't oh thank you I'm very glad that I don't have a lot of braids on my head, but I feel like I'll have more fun when I actually style it, like when I'm dressed like this. If you saw my last PLT haul, you already saw this look, but basically I'm wearing this white bodysuit and this brown skirt. Both are from PLT, and then I'm carrying this brown tote, which is from Fashion Nova, and I have on my double C earrings and then my watch from jbw and then that is all for this look and then i paired it with some nude slides that i got from miss lola but let me go put on my anklet and then we can take shots and then head to downtown cabo so this is the liquor that we decided to go with we got it at a local liquor store it's called loco and i have never seen this bottle before in my life it looks like something from aladdin like i don't know the way it's shaped kind of like a genie lamp given the girls very much we are in mexico we are in the freaking city of cabo we came to be lit so we're about to be lit It didn't taste that bad. Ew. Okay, now it's tasting bad. Ew. No. The alcohol was giving me, is giving me very much throw up vibes. Like, it's twisting my stomach. I do feel tipsy, but I wanted to throw up after that shot. I don't think that liquor is for me. Okay. Mm -hmm. This is our baby. He's right. brown because he's one that came on in the market about five months ago. Really? Now what's your name? Miguel. Miguel? Yeah. Hey, me too, I'm Miguel. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What's your name? Michael. Yeah. 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 Wait, Michael is Miguel. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. It's Tocayo. Tocayo. So when I say, hey, Tocayo, name. Hey! You gotta say name. Man, Tocayo. Tocayo. Salud. Ah. Wow, it tastes good. That one's good. That is good. The one that I had before this, my stomach. Uh, You're heating good. it up. Uh, what I'm doing right here, I'm heating the, the glass. Mm -hmm. The tequila doesn't touch the glass. So I'm going to warm it up a little bit more. Then I'm going to do this. Wow. Wow. Hey, release really the aroma. Have a deep breath. Don't touch the glass. Oh. Have a deep breath. Don't touch the glass. Don't touch the glass. Oh, wow. Cause he 
about to be hey, swimming in blue honey. They got me blue rose. Fuck you, me. Gracias. Thank you. Nice. Nice. I owe you ten pesos. Why? That's a thank you. I already said that before. <laughs> yeah, cancels it. Yeah. <laughs> So it is the next day. It is about 2 o'clock p.m. Yesterday after we ate at Cabo Cantina, we just kind of came home chilled and then we literally fell asleep. Like we have been so tired. We're kind of getting used to the time change because in Cabo we're two hours back. I'm about to give you guys a quick little outfit check. But before that, our plans for the day, we are going down to the marina. It's only like an eight minute drive from our Airbnb. When we get there, we're gonna see if we can do jet skiing. We didn't plan it out at all. We I only like made reservations for Nobu for my birthday dinner, but that's about it. There's people down here, but not a ton of people. So we should still be able to do some stuff. I feel like you can just pretty much find stuff to do down here. And I have Michael with me. Michael is a good negotiator. So we're gonna find something fun to do today. So I was sent to the store today to get toothpaste, but that's not all I got. I literally got so much juice. I really have been loving these Jumex juices. The apple one in this brand, which was really, really good. I got some grape cranberry juice, regular grape juice. Uva is grape, is what I realized. And then I got the orange kind and pineapple. All right, so also at Walmart, I picked up waterproof phone cases for our phones because we're having a water day. I had bought some of these on Amazon and I think it was like $6 for two, but I left them back in Georgia. So at Walmart, it was like $5 for each of them. And I got some waterproof band-aids for the scar. Like, when we, I think I'm gonna put it on there because I don't know if salt water is gonna burn it. But right now, let's make my drink concoction. I'm about to try the Cran Grape. Michael. This is so good. You have to try. All right, so I'm gonna mix it with this. Yesterday I broke a shot glass in here all cause this bottle pops. Like this thing is so heavy. I'm afraid to smell it. I don't think I should smell it, right? You have a drink first. You try it first. <laughs> This is the tour, 45 minutes uh -huh. to see the uh, pelican round. Oh. Right here is good for. Uh, for oh yeah. For is closed for uh, drop us off in the oh, beach. For no real? beach. No beach today. No, no beach today. No, all all those closed. Really? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, because now it's a it's a bit rough, bit yeah. wave. Oh, the water. Yeah. yeah. So the perfect wave. <laughs> hey, Carlos. Hey. Careful, I have to put out. Ah. 
You strong! You strong! Yes, sir! Uh -huh. How much? Look at that one. How many? Wait, let me see. I'll I didn't know our picture was on it. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah. Yes, sir. So you can't see it like that at all, but it should be okay. next morning so today is friday i think it is okay it is the 21st of the month so yesterday again i'm pretty sure this is the third day in a row we have fallen asleep we were supposed to go out with some friends that we met yesterday but i think everybody was tired from the beach because after we did the boat tour we went to like the little beach club and we were there for i think like four hours we met this older couple and we were just giving off good energy and they asked to take our picture then they invited us back to their beach club because medano beach there's several beach clubs next to each other they got us drinks so we were just talking the whole time we met their children and we were supposed to go out later on at downtown but they finished eating late and we fell asleep so here we are so today we are doing ATVs and horseback riding which is why I am dressed like this I'm super excited for today and then later on we have my birthday dinner at Nobu so three activities for today which is great because we want to want to pick up some speed since it is the weekend I think it's like 2 15 p.m. right now we have to meet the car that's picking us up at 2 25 so Mark already called our uber it's gonna pick us up at the Walmart which is like around the corner let me show you guys what I'm wearing really quickly I'm just wearing a sports bra from white Fox boutique black scrunch leggings that I got from Amazon I'm pretty sure I've shown you guys these in a haul before and then some just Nike shoes that I don't mind messing up and that is literally today's outfit definitely wanted to wear something that I didn't mind messing up especially because ATVs I'm pretty sure it's gonna be dusty and horseback riding I wanted my legs to be covered but yeah so we're doing no makeup today because we're gonna have a bandana across your face and we're gonna be wearing helmets and stuff so there was literally no need the only thing is I don't know how much I'm gonna be able to vlog of it because this particular um, company I'm pretty sure we're doing the cactus tours they don't allow you to use your camera and stuff because they record everything for you like they get drone footage pictures and all that stuff but then they charge you like 140 for it but I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have to buy it because otherwise how would you guys get to see us doing stuff but we're gonna head out right now I'll try the chocolate. That's strawberry? Oh, the fireball. I'll do uh, the chocolate. There you go. Thank what you. Else? Silver tequila? No, cinnamon. Cinnamon. Ready? Later 
I was gonna change because we're trying to go to a beach club, but I don't know. I feel like I actually do like the outfit that I'm wearing for a beach club versus the one that I was gonna put on. I just washed my face again. So I think I feel like rejuvenated enough. Michael's about to rinse off, and then I'm gonna have a sip of a drink and we're gonna go back out. But I do wanna say that jet skiing was really fun. I do recommend you guys look for the people at Madano Beach because it was only $50, $45 to do a jet ski versus if you go to the marina, it's really expensive. And at Madano Beach, they also do the boat tours too. So you can pretty much figure out everything like when you come. The thing that I would book in advance though is transportation, but I'm gonna tell you guys a little bit more about like tips at the end. And I did not talk to you guys about horseback riding and ATVs yet, but we had a really fun time doing both of those. I liked horseback riding more than ATVs because ATVs, when I was sitting on the back with Michael, Michael was going really fast and I was really just bouncing the whole time and it was painful for me, it wasn't enjoyable. So horseback riding, I really loved and we got our combo deal for $70 only to do both of those activities per person. So I'm gonna leave the information down below on everything that 
we've done so far and the people that I contacted to get that. And we also did go out last night, but it was kind of like I wasted an outfit because everything closed at 12 because of the pandemic. So when we got done eating at Nobu, which was really, really good by the way, I didn't even talk about that. Nobu was really, really good, by the way. Um, when we got done eating at Nobu, it was already like 10.30. So when, by the time we got back home and got back to downtown, we got to downtown at like 11.50. So today we're going to do beach club, come back home for like a two-hour break, change, and go out at like 9 p.m. so we can really enjoy nightlife. We were supposed to do like a booze cruise today, but I don't know what I'm... I'm not really feeling party -y. Like, I don't know, it hasn't been giving party to me. And that's probably because Atlanta tired me out and doing stuff back to back in Georgia tired me out from wanting to party party. So we're just gonna see and play by ear. But today we're going to a beach club and we wanna like eat, drink, relax, read books by the pool, swim, and then um, tonight we'll like turn up. We probably will get into the ocean again. So we'll just see how it goes. But just wanted to update you guys really quickly. Michael is renting off, but yesterday at the Cactus Stores, we actually did buy some liquor from them, the Pina Colada mix, and it was actually really good, so we decided to pick it up. We literally had to watch a YouTube tutorial in order to get this open and use a knife. like 11.04 and we are about to head out for the night we were busy sleeping after the beach club because we were so tired yeah we're not really in a party mood but it's a saturday night in cabo and it's technically like our last fun night because sunday maybe people won't go out so got ready got dressed this is the look that i am going for today i just need to put on my shoes and we are about to head out the door i am mainly doing this for you guys because i want to get some nightlife footage for cabo for you guys don't really feel like drinking partying but we're gonna do it only for an hour since they close at 12 and then come back home and watch mexican netflix series on the tv we'll see you guys in downtown cabo <laughs> We should have never gone out. We should have just stayed at home. We just wasted just walking basically, but we ended up getting some street hot dogs and fries and we're about to eat now. I just should have known to never have left the house because as soon as I got out of our condo, there was a roach chasing me down the hallway. I should have taken that as a bad omen and went back in the house. A bus. I feel like you guys haven't got to see Cabo Nightlife, but I will insert the clubs that you guys should check out while you are here because we knew where to go. We just couldn't get in because we were always late and they closed at 12. But yeah, I will talk to you guys tomorrow morning. What's up guys? So it is day six, I believe. It is Sunday, May 23rd. And today was supposed to be our chill day. We woke up, we had our COVID test this morning. We booked them through our Airbnb host and the doctor came to the condo and he tested us and we are negative. You need a negative COVID test to fly back into the States if you travel internationally. So today's Sunday is supposed to be our chill day, like do massages, like probably swim. Um, Michael has a lot of like work to do because it's he has like a capstone summer class So we're pretty much just taking it chill and like doing stuff in it where we can But while we were at the pool and I was shooting like some Instagram content <laughs> Um, I asked Michael to send me our flight tickets for tomorrow so we could see what time um, we have to wake up in the morning And turns out when he booked our tickets, he accidentally booked the same flight itinerary as like coming to mexico so basically we don't have flights for tomorrow and we are on hold i think for like four hours with american airlines so they're going to give us a call back so hopefully we get that situated um but as for now we're 
basically stranded in Mexico. But I haven't even looked up the flights, how it would be like next day flight. Like I just feel like it's gonna be crazy expensive, but we're gonna try and figure it out. And I guess I'm just gonna keep you guys updated with some days. Okay, so we just ordered some to-go food from Il Forno. I saw the restaurant in someone else's vlog and it's a really, really pretty Italian restaurant. If you guys do want to actually That's physically go there, we go there. Like the aesthetic is really, really nice. But we're in for the day because we're both working on stuff. But I want to show you guys what we got. So he is currently reheating the pizza. We wanted to try out some Mexican pizza. This is the garlic bread. Mm -hmm. Honestly, I don't know what it is, but they just included it. I think it's like that, like non bread or something. It looks like non. But this is um, fettuccine with pink sauce and um, shrimp. Looks really good, good job. Yeah. So we're currently about to eat and watch some Blue Therapy. This show has been hilarious, it's a UK show, but I feel like it's getting super popular, so American people might be watching it too, but it's mainly like the UK African crowd, but I have seen black YouTube commentary channels talk about it, so I think it's getting more and more viral. But I do really like the show because it's kind of like a conversation starter and it's just really fun and kind of funny for me and Michael to watch it, just being in a relationship. So we are about to to eat and watch this and then I'll tell you guys about if we're stranded in Mexico or not. We're staying an extra day in Mexico. Michael purchased us new flights but we could only leave on Tuesday otherwise it would be like a thousand per flight. So we are staying here an extra day and y'all I'm tired. We have been doing so much since the whole month of May because of my birthday, Michael's graduation, his friend's graduation. Like Atlanta already tired me out, but we're staying an extra day. So now we can um, relax today, get our work done, and then do massages and more food and probably beach club tomorrow. And we're gonna get back to watching Blue Therapy and eating our food, but I'ma highlight at you later. July and I realized that I did not close this vlog out so I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for watching 
my vacation vlog to Cabo. I hope you guys really did enjoy it and will subscribe and watch some more of my content. I did want to give you guys some tips that I did pick out along the way um, just because I didn't get to do that while I was there because of like the missed flight, being stranded, wanting to enjoy our last day and all that stuff. Basically, these are some like generaliz generalizations that I remembered. So um, number one, it's all about negotiating. Everyone gets a different price. So like that's when it comes to like excursions and buying things. So we always got our deals for lower because we would be like, uh, I don't know. I, I don't know if we want to do that for that much. And they'll be like, okay, well, we can give you two for 40 or two for 50. So we negotiated everything. And Uber was super cheap out there, but some places in Cabo don't allow you to use Uber. I think it might be like illegal or frowned upon at some places. So like some resorts, Uber can't go there. So just make sure you find out ahead of time and try and like get a number for like a cab service or something if you need that. Um, The exchange rate at ATMs is really, really high out there. It was like 8% or something like that but um, I did have to use it at some points to get cash out but I would recommend getting cash out at the airport like in your in the United States I got cash out I think we were in Texas and then using that throughout the trip because they really do like US dollars there you don't have to have pesos and then just pay attention to the exchange rate I think it's like an American dollar is like 19 or 20 pesos or so but it does change like per establishment you go to but they like getting dollars so take your cash out at home as soon as you can i know i don't like traveling with cash but it is better and then you can also use your card but like there is some kind of like exchange rate with that um, resorts versus airbnb resorts are a really really private experience out there like our driver who drove us from the airport to our airbnb like the resorts you cannot even see in them to see what the actual resorts is like they're so far set back from the road they have all stone walls fences like they're pushed far back like resorts i don't know like they don't want the public to see it because they i feel like they want um, clientele to feel like a really private experience but if you do book a resort i feel like mainly people will stay in that resort and not do too much so like resort would be like if you never really want to leave ever except to go visit nightlife because the resort will have everything you need i want to say keep your passport in a safe place back in your room lock it up in the safe put it in between some of your clothes something like that so you don't lose it because if you lose that while out the country you won't be able to come back into the united states but i did care around like the little card that they gave us at the airport that like said we were allowed to be in Mexico just to be safe. Um, I didn't book anything in, in advance except for my birthday dinner at Nobu because they're usually always booked up. So we found all of our excursions by going to the beach. My excursion where we did horseback riding AT and ATVs, the guy at Walmart was selling like the tours and he gave me his number. I'll try and link that down below if I remember. I feel like his name was Victor or something. But we were able to negotiate the rate down so just make sure you negotiate don't be like how much lower can i get it just be like uh that seems like a little bit too high that's kind of out of my price range or something like that and they'll keep bringing it lower for you i think those are all the tips that i can remember if i remember anymore i'll put them down below comment down below what you guys thought of this vlog leave me leave me some questions that you have down below and i'll see you guys in my next video thank you guys for watching